Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Half Bergman. So I've had uh, checked out the um, the animals this morning. All seem good. But I don't think I checked the horses, but uh, everything else is good, as you can see. Uh, plenty of food, plenty of slurry. Slurry is going to be a topic of conversation for today. But yep, yeah, pigs are good. Cats are good. Chicks and ducks are good. Ponies, ah, uh, yeah, they've got plenty of water and plenty of hay. So, I've had to move a few chicken eggs out of the way so that more can spawn, but that's about it for now. I see my little kitten is playing in the garage. You be careful in there, kitten. Right then, what we need to do is get over to our tractor with the cedar on, the 390T. And we're going to have to set this off on a worker getting this field done over here and what we want to get put in this field is barley so let's go round to barley and we'll get the um, the worker working on that and off you pop What I also want to do is to get a, uh, a new slurry spreader. Something with a bit more capacity than the 3000 litre one that we've got at the moment. Right, he's... Well, she... She is working away nicely. So... Let's get our current slurry spreader. And we will take it over to the store where we can get it fixed up painted and then sold and we can get a, a higher capacity one there is a higher capacity one that's actually a little bit cheaper huh where did I put it do I sell it already hmm how strange. I think I might have already sold it. Which is no good. Where did I put it? Right, well, there's one way to find out. if I still got it? No. There are no slurry spreaders here. Oh, I haven't got it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, in that case, what we'll do... We'll sell a trailer load of silage, and then we'll be able to buy another one. Obviously, I need one that this tractor can pull. There's no point in having one that is not pullable by this tractor. There we go. Right, come on traffic. There we go. Yeah, so we need to sell a, a trailer load of silage. I think this, this silage is probably going to keep us going. But I'll tell you what, could do with a bit of a top up of fuel here. And could do with a service, this tractor. Maybe we'll service it before we do the slurry spreading. But I'm not even sure if the slurry spreading could be done, to be perfectly honest. Am I not underneath the uh, thing enough? Right. There, that's better. Right. So where is best to sell slurry at the moment? Silage at the moment. Gosh, I'm getting confused. Uh, livestock or feed market? actually not too bad a price at the minute so we'll just get a full trailer load of that we have got absolutely tons of it in store as you can see oh goat's cheese well that's good we've got a full load of goat's cheese as well um silage production yeah we've got 142,000 liters of it which is a bit cool because we can get quite a lot of money from that and then 
I might even be able to get a uh, a bigger tractor, which would be nice. Anything in the sale today? Nope. A bigger slurry tanker, but um, there's no way I've got enough power to to power that one. This um, the slurry spreader I'll be getting today will be some sort of interim slurry spreader because obviously we can get a much bigger one once we've got a bigger tractor. But yeah, right now we need to go and sell this at the animal market. It's quite possible but I could also sell some uh, or get some animals over to butchers today. It's probably not a bad idea. So the, yeah, the field that we're planting at the minute, that's the only one going to be done as a, another only other one going to be done as a winter crop. We will also have the two fields over this side, which are going to be uh, spring crops. So we're going to be doing either soybeans or sorghum. One of each, one field of each. Soya beans won't need fertilizer, but the sorghum will. Now, I haven't decided which field to do with what yet. I'll probably do the larger field as sorghum and the smaller field as soya beans. I think. Yeah. Um, I'm going the wrong way. Right, I'll see you over at the livestock market. What's this? What's this? Oh, it doesn't open till 9 o'clock. Well, that is only two in-game minutes away, which is actually not very long at all. Oh, no. We're going to be holding up the traffic. Wonder if I can get this on out the way enough. I probably can't. No. Oh well, they've just opened. Fantastic. That's good news. Hello, sir. Right, this is where we need to sell the silage. We need to have the trailer on enough that it doesn't hit the roof. That should be absolutely fine there. Alright, how much are we going to get for this trailer load? Not too bad, I don't think. Eleven thousand... Four hundred pounds. Nope, not too bad at all. Right, let's have a very quick look then at what we can get in the way of slurry tank. Mm, so we've got this Marshall, which is quite good. That's got a eight thousand liter capacity and eleven meter working width. That's really good, in fact, for fourteen thousand pounds. We've got this high spec here, which has got a uh, 10,500 litre capacity and an 8.5 metre working width. So it's not as wide a working width, but slightly more capacity. Hmm. And then the, uh, the prices go right up, but that's only got an 8,200 litre capacity and a 15 metre working width. Yeah, and then we're shooting very, very far up in price. And you need to start spending a lot more money. So. I think this one looks like a good purchase.
mud flaps. Left rear fill valve. Don't know what purpose the fill valves have. Well, mud flaps are 100 quid. That would be a nice little feature. Yeah. Splash plate and top fill. Don't need top fill. Oh, it does have an injector attacher. Okay, and what injector system would fit to it? Hmm. I might have needed to um, get the injector si system separately. But I think splash plate would be the way to go at the minute. And that's got a fill valve there. So yeah, I think standard's not too bad, although, like I said, I would like mud flaps. There we are. Right. There we are. We have our new slurry spreader. Now what I'm going to do is... Oh, I did want to have a look at another trailer that I downloaded as well. Just to try another another trailer. But at the moment, we have... Oh, where is it? We have this one. 22 to 24 cubic meters. And I have recently downloaded this one from 4D Modding. Which is 16 to 22.5. And it's specifically... Oh, you can have different... So you have silage trailer which is 22, or a grain trailer, which is 16. Hmm. Not a bad looking trailer. I don't know what a silage door flap is. It doesn't appear to change much. Hmm. No, we'll stick with the current trailer we've got, I think. It is a slightly higher capacity, I believe. But yeah, what we could do with is getting the trailer back to the farm. Um, dropping that off, getting this tractor serviced, and then we'll pick up our new slurry spreader. So I have serviced the tractor, but it turns out it's actually the trailer that needs servicing more than the tractor. But I thought I'd give the tractor a quick service anyway. Actually, it would be good to give it a quick wash. But I think while we're here, we're also going to service the trailer. I'm not sure what having an unserviced trailer means. It's probably just the speed that you're able to drive at. I think. But I'm not certain. Well, well, let's service it anyway and see what what improves. And then we'll give the tractor a wash before we go and pick up our new uh, slurry spreader. Right. That's that fixed.
trailer parking is sometimes a nightmare. Right. Oh dear. Okay. Get all this cleaned up and then we'll go and spread some slurry which will make it all dirty again. Right then, here we are, with the slurry spreader, back at the farm. Let's get it filled up. This is going to take a while to fill, but that's okay. And then we need to figure out what fields we need to put it on. Right, so first off, it needs to go on the two grass fields. Hopefully they're not grown to the point where I'm going to be destroying the grass by driving over it. Well, let's find out when it's full. Well, this has become a lot heavier now. We've got 10,456 litres into it. looks like the grass is still at the point of being able to be fertilised, but... Ah, no! Destroy the grass by driving on it. Which is absolutely not what we want to do. But we're going to have to leave the grass this time, I think. But we could get this canola spread. I think. First we need to set the slurry tanker pump to empty mode. Aha. So X sets it to empty mode. There we go. And there we go. Right, well let's get over to the edge so that I'm actually covering most of it. go right so this is good this will give us actually uh, a full application of fertilizer on the canola field which is great news so we're going to crack on and get that done That's the first tank load gone. I reckon we're probably going to need a good maybe two and a half, three tank loads for this field, for this field alone. But that's okay. And we've got plenty in storage. We had about 60,000 litres in storage, which is six tank loads. So we should be able to get, a, hopefully, two fields done with this. And then by the time that we need some more to do the other fields, we'll have it. Oh no, my chap's run out of seed and nearly out of fuel. Well let's get him some more of both and then he can carry on. And we shall do the same. Oh dear. 288 litres of seed is all I had. That's a pain. At least we've got more fuel. To see how far he gets on that. 
and maybe send him to pick up some more. Seed, seed rate must be quite high of the barley in this field then, based on the soil type. I wonder if I, oh, of course I should, I should have looked at the soil types before I decided what crop to put in what field. It's a bit of a pain. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do then, before we decide what we're putting in the other two fields, we'll have a look at the soil types, see which crops will be best. In the meantime, I hope that 288 litres will be enough to get him to the end of this field. Should be, I hope. Right, off you pop. Yeah, that's using seed up at quite a rate. We'll see how it does. There we go, that's that field done. We can leave the barley field until October. That's all that's been fully seeded now. Did have enough seed, but we will have to get some more seed for the other fields. It'd be nice to get a bigger seeder or, or a planter or something even. Not really sure what um with a planter we could put in uh, sunflowers or corn. Might be nice to have some flowers. But like I said, I'm gonna look at the soil maps anyway. Right. Wonder if I can empty this back into here, because we've got a Oh. Right. It's odd that it, it's on empty mode, but it'll fill it. <laughs> right. Anyway, let's pop this back under cover under here. I will definitely need some more seed for next time. Now, I want to use this tractor now to head over to... To head over to this... Where am I going? Oh, to the butchers. I need my trailer back from the butchers. But doesn't mean that we're definitely going to take some animals over today. But I do want my trailer back. I mean, we, we could take some animals over today. Let's get them heading over to the butchers anyway. Target unreachable. Of course it is, because I've started you in the yard. Why wouldn't the target be unreachable? Right, you're on the road now. Target unreachable. Target unreachable. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Right, let's 
bring this back over to the yard. 154 litres of seed left. Yes. Ideally, I'd like to get the, yeah, the grass needs fertilising. I'd like to get the grass fertilised. I don't know if I've got any liquid fertiliser. I know I've got some solid fertiliser, but I don't have a spreader for that. But that's something that we could, a job we could give to a worker, isn't it? To get a liquid fertiliser on here, if we've got some liquid fertiliser. Now, I did have a tractor set up ready to fertilise. That one can stay in there. Uh, right. Here it is. Aha! Herbicide. Fertiliser. Brilliant. I'd forgotten I'd put all this over here. Good job that I have, though. Loads of fertiliser. Still don't know why we can't get fertiliser out of the, uh, the storage over there. But maybe we can now. Let's try. Let's give it one more go. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to. But yet, still can't. Alright. Never mind. We have it in here. Now if I get this worker working on the field. Oh, didn't want to do that. There we are, 300 litres. So they... I don't know how, how far that... Oh, hello. Don't do that. I don't know how far 300 litres will take them. But... Uh, we shall see. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. Ooh, don't tip over. Right, so this worker has all afternoon to get the fertilising done on the two fields. Hopefully it doesn't use the fertiliser that quickly in the sprayer. If it does, we might have to get ourselves a trailed sprayer at some point. with a higher capacity. 300 litres is not a lot. Anyway. That's not going to destroy the grass. So, off he goes. No, it's not using it super quickly. But that's good. Aha! Right, let's pick up the trailer and then we'll work out actually if there is any animals that we can bring down to the butchers. I'd like the animal enclosures to fill up to be perfectly honest or to get slightly more full anyway. And it's only five at a time that we can bring down here of any species. Otherwise it fills up the butchers and they have to sit in the trailer, which I don't think is very good for the meat or for them. We don't want them to suffer, we just want to make it nice and quick. Right, now that we're back at the yard, let's have a quick look, shall we? So we'll start with... Mm, I think ideally what I need to do is to go around the pastures and see how full they are. Uh, 72 out of 300. Yes, I think it's going to be worth leaving them slightly longer. Uh... Mm. 
Yep. Alright, so not sheep then. Let's take a look at the pigs. Thirty-five out of a hundred. Hmm. They're not pigs either. We really want to be selling the the male pig. Although we've got a lot of sows. Those are 15 months old. Got five of those. Hmm. Now, what about the cows? I think the trigger for the cows is actually throwing out the back. Yeah, about here. 40 out of 100. Right, so we've got some Angus cows, 25 months old. Holstein's 25 months old. 31 months old here. Still reproducing. 37 months old for the bull. Only one of those. We've got a good amount of calves, I think. Yep, ten calves. Hmm. Maybe it's worth selling the Angus cows. Yep, I think so. Let's take the Angus cows down there. And we'll stick with the Holsteins. They're the ones giving me milk anyway. We're not going to limit our milk production by selling the Angus cows. Because they are purely for meat. Hmm, that's not in the right place. Better. So we'll get the Angus cows into the trailer. There we are. Ooh. And then we'll take them off down to the butcher's shop. How is my little friend over here getting on? Ah, not too bad at all. Hasn't even used a hundred litres. So we should get both fields done, but there's just one tank in this. Well that'd be really good. Let's get the uh, the cows over to the butchers. And then there's a good chance that we'll be ready to move that bloke onto the other field while we pick up the goat cheese out of the dairy. Right, here we are. Let's offload them into the butcher shop. There we go, we have an empty trailer. And the butcher's man here is going to be sorting that out for us. So we need beef manufacturing, set it to selling, and want to activate it. So one, one cow gets to 1,000 steaks. Or bits of beef, which is good. This malt brewing is taking absolutely forever. Still, it'll be good. I do also realise that the um, UHT milk is sorted and done. 
but we are waiting for the price to improve on that before we can take it and sell it. Because it can be up to 3,084 and it's currently 3,098. Huh. Oh, well, we better sell that. Oh, no, unless. No, we'll wait till February. We'll wait till February. Ah, uh, we'll just get this guy started off again. I did have to, um... Did have to restart the game for the trigger at the, uh... The butchers to work, but... We've got there now. Which is why also I've got the, the trigger switched on. There we go. Okay. So, said goodbye to another lot of cows. We've got to desensitize, desensitize us, ourselves to it. Because uh, that's the name of the business, isn't it? So with that said, I'm going to let the, um, the worker carry on and get the, field, the grass fields fertilized. It's on the second field now, shouldn't take too long. But that's where we're going to end the episode for today. So thank you so much for watching.